everyone, this is Maki. Are you enjoying the movie Gundam Seed Freedom? It's almost time for the movie to end its theatrical run in Japan. The schedule for the internet streaming and Blu-ray disc releases is not clear at the moment. It's also fun to slow down and watch the battle scenes. Today we are going to go over the special giveaways that will be given out in theaters and the details of the special stage greetings. I'll be discussing content that contains spoilers from the movie. If you want to watch the movie without prior information, I recommend watching this program after you've seen the movie. Are you ready? Press the subscribe button to send calls to Kira and Lars. Otherwise, they might catch a cold. In Japan, starting on May 17th, movie theaters will begin distributing admission bonuses. This is the last such bonus. It seems to hint at the story after the movie. Details of the new story will be written on the back of the card. The front of the card has been revealed. It shows Kira and Lara sitting on the beach. Then there's Shin and Luna Maria and Agnes with her friends from campus. And Asran and Kagali are making out while being watched by Love's friends. The scene with Kira and Lara takes place at night, apparently sometime after the end of the movie. If you look in the distance, you can see a couple that seems to resemble a couple, like Kari Jayamoto. She's the foster mother who raised Kira. If it's really Karida, then her husband Haruma Yamato would be standing next to her. Did Karida and others find them naked and decide to give them clothes? It was kind of them to decide to watch from a distance after providing the clothes, considering not to disturb the couple. It almost sets up Kira and Lars for a future where they become a couple, like Harida and Haruma. I'm curious about the story written on it. It might contain feelings from Harida's perspective, wishing happiness for Kira and the others. Or maybe it's a grumble from the old forces struggling to hide the nearby mighty strike freedom. And here's the card for Shin and the others. It shows a scene where Shin and Daphne's fight for Luna Maria. After the final battle of the movie, Luna Maria rescues Agnes with her impulse Gunnam. Was her defection to the Foundation Kingdom overlooked? The last operation carried out by Compass may have been unofficial. It was a strategy involving the hijacking of the battleship Millennium, which was jointly funded by the Earth Alliance plant and all. It wouldn't be surprising if that operation didn't make it into the official records. Thus, Agnes' betrayal could also be recorded as such an event did not occur. Agnes may have fallen in love with Luna Maria, she now has a strong rival. And if you look closely, Hilda seems to be watching Luna Maria as well. Agnes and Hilda could prove to be formidable opponents for Shane. Can Shane win this battle of love? If he continues to pilot the Destiny Gunnam, he might just win. But unfortunately, Rising Freedom and Immortal Justice have been officially adopted by Campus and may be reproduced. The unofficially acquired Destiny Gunnam might be sealed enough. Can Shin win if he pilots the Justice again? I'm also curious about the former crew members of the battleship Minerva in the background. Some fans have been speculating about the absence of Yo and Kent. What happened to Yoant? Although it's not explicitly stated, there is a scene in the Sea Destiny novel where Vino witnesses the death of a comrade. And there is also a scene where Vino escaping from the maneuver is seen crying with a pair of gloves, presumably belonging to a comrade. It's very likely that Yoant died in battle. Maybe in a sequel. When Shin is in trouble, 
Yoan will return to deliver the immortal destiny Gunnam. Let's hope and wait. Finally, we have a photo of Astran and Kakali. If you look closely at the legs on the mogul suit, they belong to the Strike Rouge, not the Infinite Justice. This means that Astran must have quickly left the Infinite Justice and run over to Kakali. It's also interesting to see how Milia takes pictures. She used to be a journalist. She makes sure that the Cavalier doesn't show up in the photo because it's one of Rob's top military secrets. It's a moment that really shows Myola's dedication as a professional. Sai Argyle is also there, although he had no more lines in the movie. He appears frequently alongside Myola. Maybe this sets up a love triangle with Darker. May Rain is also there watching Afran and Kakali with delight. Many fans have been curious about the love triangle between Afran, Kakali and Mei Rain. The composition of this photo seems to answer those fan questions. It's also noticeable how the amulet Afran is wearing gloves in the setting sound. After this, Afran has the important task of explaining to Kakali the sexy fantasy he had during his fight with Sure. Let's hope he completes this mission successfully and survives. On May 18th, there will be a stage welcome with director Mitsuo Fukuto and other staff and cast members. This is also the birthday of Hiro and Kakali. What a great day, isn't it? It has been decided that message cards from Mr. Fukuda will be distributed at this stage greeting. I wonder what the message will be. It seems like it's quite long. The stage greeting will also be broadcast on the internet and shown in some movie theaters. I'm going to try to get those special giveaways. Will I be able to get them? I plan to continue supporting the Seed series. Thank you for watching to the end. See you in the next episode.